Hello again, this is Thomas solving the group theory exercise sheet 1. We arrived at exercise 3, which is a rather short one. This is an introduction to cyclic groups. The definition of a cyclic group can be read as follows. There is an existence required, namely the existence of a element G, what we call a generator. And with that element G, we can generate any other element. We call it A in the group by simply taking a specific power. This helps us to prove that a cyclic group is also an abelian group, namely we have to show that any two elements A and B commute. We can write A and B as the definition says up here, as the power of uh, the element G. And this can be simply understood as a repeated multiplication of our element g, namely n a times and n b times. And now we can regroup this multiplication because of the associativity and arrive that we have g to the power of n b times g to the power of n a, which is exactly b times a as expected. In part b, we're given a set of numbers. This time it's their complex, 1, i, minus 1, and minus i. I write them with bars to not confuse with the minus sign in our calculations. And we're asked to form a group out of those numbers. We take the normal multiplication. This leaves us with a group. And we can prove that by constructing the multiplication table. Of course, you all know how to handle complex numbers, so this is a rather easy task. So we have one. I simply write this down for completeness. Here we have a So you can you can prove this easily by yourself. You just write it down. In part C, the interesting things happen. For we have to show that this group is a cyclic group. One way to see it is from the multiplication table, seeing that these are all shifted the lines. The other way to see it are uh, is to find the generator. And in educated guess, we tried out with i being the generator, and it turns out this is correct. i to the power of 1 is of course i itself, i to the power of 2 is by definition minus 1. Now, let's try it out if it, it's, if it proves the other two too. So i to the power of 3 is i times minus 1, which is minus i, and i to the power of 4 is i times minus i, which is 1, and then we can see that this is i times 1, namely i to the power of 5. Here we have 1 bar, here we have i bar, so it's proven. The group we have here is cyclic. In part d, we have to consider now a different set of a different group, namely c4 which consists of all rotations by pi half to c4 to the minus 1 and the identity. And we have, to, we have to show that these two have the same multiplication table. Of course, we can write down the multiplication table and see that there is a uh, correspondence, but a more educated way to do it is to see a geometric correspondence. Where this is our complex plane, this is the real axis, this is the imaginary axis, then we can distribute our elements from our original group and see that taking the element i corresponds to a rotation which can be represented in the complex plane by e to the power of pi half, which is exactly c4. 
So in the same way you can show that C2 represents a rotation over here and C4 to the minus one is just down there. So with that we have proven a one-to-one -one correspondence between ele any element of C4 to any element over here. This geometric one-to-one -one correspondence is enough to show an isomorphism. E is then of course redundant because finding the generator is too easy. It's we take an uh, we take it the isomorphism and we take part C and this leaves us being the generator C4 because I corresponds to the element C4 in the group C4. Of course this is a little abuse of notation but we can't avoid it here. So the question now is can we find a symbolic 3D object which represents the point group symmetry C4? And yes, we can. We have to construct a, a object which has no mirror planes in it. The solution would be a chiral object. For example, we take a triangle over here, a triangle over here. A triangle over here. Of course, you have to imagine that this should be rotational symmetric with C4 and we have no mirror planes in it. That's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.